what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your man, DJ Caveman, DJ Iron Monkey. Limited, yes. edition, limited edition Harry Styles doll making a guest appearance. Shout out to the homie Nigel. He got this for me as a gag gift because I bought him. <laughs> Funny story. Uh, fast fact. I bought Nigel. We used to go back and forth and, and do gag gifts, right? So I bought this mm -hmm. dude. Remember the remember the 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 the, the situation from uh, Jersey yeah. Shore? Mm -hmm. This motherfucker had a toothbrush. So I bought him a I brought him the uh, I brought him the toothbrush. I bought him the Jersey Shore uh, toothbrush and then I bought him the 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 One Direction autograph poster with the CD for whoa. like his birthday. It was like whoa. one of those, like one of those things you get at Spencer's or some shit where they got all the autographs like the the pre Yeah, that sounds like that, yeah, that sounds like real money though. No, 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 man, it cost me like 20 bucks. Like the CD was oh, like 10, the poster was like 5 bucks. The toothbrush was like yo. $3. <laughs> So then, so, like out of the blue, I get this fucking, he, get, he shows up with the limited edition Harry Styles One Direction doll. And if you push his button, yeah, he, I, gotta, the battery, I gotta take a pull on this one. The batteries are dead, but the, he has a little button in his chest and you push him and he sings. He sings, that's what makes you beautiful. <laughs> anyway. It's All right, so the, you go, sing for me, boy. And then yeah, he starts singing, so you poke him in the chest. It's still in the packaging, uh, you know what I'm saying? And Harry Styles is wild famous now. Uh, so I'm thinking that one day, you know yeah, saying? but the yeah, but the battery dead. To... That meant that that meant that you played them out. Nah, it just means the battery died eventually. You know what I'm saying? They've never been out the box. The box is sealed. Okay. Um. He's yeah, still... that's kind of like me and that's kind of like me and my man, man Al Green, and how uh, I He's bought still... Action Jackson. He's still zip tied to the fucking to the thing. So uh, it's all good. So that's, that's the, my limited edition. Pack. Yo, every episode I'm a I got I got some smooth collectibles, man. I got next week. It's the it's the uh. It's the uh, Black Panther collection that I got. You know, I'm gonna try okay. to put some, I'm gonna put some shelves up here. I'm gonna have all that shit in the background, like okay. the Man and shit. But you know, as long as it's as long as it's not Roseanne Ball in a, a Black Panther suit, that, that's all I'm asking. Yo, that's if that's what you if that's what you need, I'm sure the internet has that for you, bro. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I look like Max Headroom over here with my head shaking. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. That, that's a, that's an obscure reference. A lot of people don't know about Max Headroom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> that's that's why I like my old school TV. A lot TV. of people don't know about Max Headroom. I watched that shit religiously. You know, it was only on for like two seasons. And they just pulled yeah. the plug on that shit, yo. I fucking love that show. Max Headroom and motherfucking... And Herman's uh, Head. I didn't, really like, I didn't really like Herman's Head. But Street, <laughs> Street Hawk used to be my shit. Oh, Street Hawk, yeah. Yo, 13, 14 episodes. That's all they had. And they took it off the air, but the whole uh, the whole shit is on YouTube. If you want to go back and watch them shits, every single episode is on YouTube. You know what though? You know what though? Uh, I, I I was getting into a lot of old school stuff, and I was getting into um like the old Transformers shit. But like when when I was getting into the whole Transformers shit, the thing about that was is like yo, it just started to spook me out because on the stand I was probably smoking while I was watching it, but. Um, I'm at the point in my am, am I smoking where certain shit don't really get to me like that and I don't really let loose but yo I was really starting to make some connections between like yo how they introduce certain things in cartoons and movies and then like shit like what was going on with the bears start happening and it's like yo for me it's like I, right, I'm seeing the signs where I'm seeing the signs and I'm starting to turn the coin on this whole biz thing, but I'm still kind of iffy on it, though. Yo, I, like, I mean, have you have have you been hearing about the 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 the, the whole biz thing? Yeah, man. You know, I've been uh, since our last conversation that we had about mm -hmm. it. Uh, we I've been going back and checking out the uh, the Facebook page that they got. Uh, Bears the Awakening yeah. the Facebook page. So make sure you check that yeah, out yeah. for all that yeah, information. Yeah, the Awakening. Yep. The Awakening mm -hmm. page. Um, there's a lot of stuff on there, man. Um. You know, there's some more messages on there. We got we got some more messages. Uh, yeah, because okay. last time when they had the crystals, like the crystals wasn't really operational, but since then, since like, then now they, they got the crystals up and running. Yeah, they got they got the 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 archaeologists, uh, Professor Katie Hunter and, and Professor Da Vinci Young, who I'm working hard. Mm -hmm. I'm working hard right now. I got I got my people calling their people, and uh, we're gonna get them on the show as guests and try to break this shit down a little bit more. 
Yeah, because uh, last episode I was kind of iffy because I had a I had a question about like the, the the material and the information because I can't really question the source because all the information was getting scrubbed online. So I'm like, yo, if there's really no information online, like, yo, I can't really get jiggy with this. But after watching like some of that transformer shit and then hearing some of these messages on them crystals, I'm like, yo, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if I have to like get comfortable with like bubble b or some shit like that and like rather than punch buggy be like yeah, hug buggies <laughs> like i don't know uh, I, I don't know if it's on that Yo, kind of time rodimus prime is the greatest transformer of all time by the way rodimus prime and uh yeah i'll give you that i'll give you that yeah because he wasn't the dopest like transformer like what he turned into was kind of whack but uh yeah you know. Yeah, but he is better than like some of the other dudes, like the dude that turned into the ambulance and then like the the fire truck. Oh uh, yeah, that was my first but, one. The ambulance um, was my first one. But yo, I got a, I got. Nah, one. but the the dinosaurs are the shit though. Oh man, Grimlock. Grimlock is my favorite, my second favorite character behind uh Grimlock. behind Shockwave, Shockwave, then oh. then, then Grimlock, then Soundwave. What, what, what? Then Soundwave Megatron. was the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original Megatron, the gun Megatron. Nah, yeah, the one that turned into the Ruger, which I cannot yeah. find in a box. I can't find it in a box. Yo, if you got an original... I can't find it in the gold ones. Generation 1 Megatron, the Ruger, the silver joint with the with the, with the the brown handle in the box. Holla at your boy. Wait, wait. Did it have a bump stock at that time? It had a little yeah, extra yeah, little bump stock extra, to it, too. Yeah. Oh, shit. They got them. They got them. They got them out the box. I can find them everywhere. In, in Rhode Island, I, could, I found like four of them out the box. I want mine out the box, B. Like I, I want, I want to actually. You want to be able to see it? my shit. <laughs> Don't get shot out there, like, man. No, no, like, I don't know. Fuck that. You be like it's a Megatron. No, 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 no. And I ain't even gonna get caught out on like that uh, basketball player that was showing people around his house and showing off his gun. Uh, oh, rest in yeah, peace yeah, to that yeah, dude yeah. that he ended up killing uh, from the Nets. Um, oh, I don't uh, even get into that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, uh, that's that's getting away from the topic because yeah. like that bitch shit really got me bugged out because between that and this whole corona thing like i don't want to start no kind of conspiracy but it but, seemed like, it seemed like uh, listen i'm gonna start it for you it seems like yeah please this, bear, this bear shit came out around the same time as this corona shit and it could just be the government <laughs> glossing over could just be the government glossing over. You know, you know what, too? And, and, and I actually went back and I, I did my research on when AIDS first started. When AIDS first started as like a, a epidemic kind of thing, they actually classified it as a cancer at first. Like it was a form of cancer. And I don't know if they still classify it as a form of cancer, but like it was very wild because they thought it was only amongst gay people. And then it was it was weird. It was like, uh, if they touch this, you can't touch that. It was very weird when it first came out. I remember it in the 80s. Like, oh, don't touch that. They might have AIDS. But that corona shit, that corona shit is attacking all the old people. So maybe, you know, because. No, it's getting everybody now. Because it's getting everybody. Nah, because this is this mystery thing that they don't want to say is corona, but it's happening with younger children, too. So it's one of those yeah, kind of weird things that it's like... It's some other shit, but let's get into this first message, man. Let's get into this first message. I, I, got, the, I got the third crystal. Kirk, report. My liege, it seems that the High God has, in fact, domesticated the hominids a bit. They seem to be living in tribes now across the planet. Plus, the hominids are evolving much faster than they should be. Interesting, Carrick. Keep monitoring their progress. This may bear unknown fruit. As you wish, my liege. If I may ask, how are our fellow Dra'uns doing? Situation is just as grim. Each new generation shows degradation of some kind whether it be mental or physical. We need to figure out those Atlantean secrets. I understand, my liege. You see? I'll tell you what the something else is. It's, it's Corona. Hold on. It's Corona. Hmm. Is injecting into these, into these people, and they're trying to turn us all into super soldiers, dog. The government is using uh, the, Corona to the turn us that... all into super soldiers. 
and the and this natural selection, the ones that are meant to be soldiers are dying off. I'm just saying. And the asymptomatic ones are the ones that are the, the, uh, the ones that are. Those are the super soldiers. And and I'm reading a book right now called The Third Eye by Sophia Stewart, and she talked about that shit too back in the '70s, where she talked about the alien race coming down and creating a super race right around this time. Yo, Dow, did you freeze? Yo, Dow, look like DJ Iron Monkey froze. Damn, I just got the message. DJ Iron Monkey froze up. Uh, Shiza. So maybe he'll be back into it. But yo, it's an interesting conspiracy theory to think about. Right now, we're under this coronavirus thing. We locked down and, uh, and, and, and we don't even know. We don't even know what, it is, what it's about or what's happening. And these, this bear shit seem to happen right around now. If you go back and you read other materials, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot of shit happening that seems to just line up in a parallel. Um, hold on, let me see what's happening with DJ Iron Monkey. He had to sign off real quick. Uh, let me see what we got going on. Uh, yo. Yo, I don't even know. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. Yo, maybe. <laughs> maybe these bears, cats. And this government shit, they listening on us right now. You know what I'm saying? They listening on us right now and they're like, yo, we can't allow this to be getting out right now. So they just blacked my man out because he was talking, we was talking. So they just tried to cut our communications off. But don't worry, don't worry because there's no stopping us right now. We about to we about to play the second message anyway while DJ Iron Monkey's trying to work with the computer hackers on his situation. I'm gonna keep it moving because it appears that I'm still on. So while I'm still on, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to play the second message for y'all and give y'all the, the real scoop on what's really happening out here. Let's take a look. Take a listen at this one. My liege, the High God are attempting to breed with the hominids. They call them humans. This should be impossible other than the vague physical similarities. They're entirely different species. Excellent. This could very well be the single thing that will allow our species to continue. Karak, you now have a second mission. Find out how they're able to procreate once they're successful. Then report back to me immediately. Yes, my liege. So, they obviously are on to the situation. They, 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 they're, they're trying to colonize right now. There's a lot of colonization. They're trying to weed us out with this corona shit. They're trying to give us, they're trying to separate us and create the super soldier that's happening. I just hope that, you know, at the end of the day, if I get that shit, they want me to be a super soldier because I've been working in the gym and, you know, these shoulders, these shoulders is looking, looking gorgeous, and these arms and shit. But yeah, we're trying to, DJ Iron Monkey trying to get back in right now. Uh, you know, the, the hackers try to shut us down because we're doing a we're doing an off-brand type message in the Saturday conversation. They must have seen the first one, and they were like, "Yo, we can't let these dudes do this shit again." So now nah, they must have been monitoring us, and uh, now they try to shut us down. But don't worry, DJ Iron Monkey is rebooting, and he'll be back in here in a minute. Um, there's a lot of shit going on, man. We're gonna try to get this uh, Professor Katie. Uh, she's been breaking down the, the crystals and Professor Da Vinci. He's been breaking down the crystals and uh, putting stuff out there, letting us know what's happening. Make sure you go to the Bears Awakening site on the uh, Facebook page. Um, and, uh, you know, check it out. Check out the information for yourself. You know, we're just here um, trying to give you all the information as we find it, how we decipher it, you know, and... Uh, you know, all you could do is go on there and check it out for yourself. Don't, don't, don't rely on us. I mean, rely on us because we're giving you that real information, but we want you to make your own judgment. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to feed you no propaganda about this bear shit, but we're feeding you that knowledge so you know what's happening. 
So when you look around and you see folks that's sick, dying, it could be these Bears dudes coming down and, you know, not to make light of this corona shit because it's serious, but I always feel like the government is behind some shit no matter what. You know what I'm saying? They're always behind some shit. Even if it don't really seem like it at first, I feel like the government always behind some shit. Like, don't nothing happen out here. Like, if you go back and look at all the shit you see in movies, that's now real. All you got to know is that the government behind that shit. Behind the movies, behind the news. I read an article. Oh, shit. DJ Iron Monkey's back in the cut. You back in the game, baby. They can't, they can't hold us. Whew. They can't yeah, hold us. They tried to shut us down. Yeah. That shit was spooky as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, we yeah. were just talking and then you just froze, man. I thought you was having a stroke. Nah, yo, my screen really just went black, like with, with like stripes on it. And then I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? And I was like, yo, can you hear me at least? Yo, can you hear me? Yo. Nah, dude, you was just frozen like. Oh, damn. Yo, that's... I, thought you was, I thought you was active listening. I didn't even know at first. And then you didn't uh... say nothing. Oh, man, I was like, I'm sorry, P. Yo, I was like, yo, he's getting a little bit too deep in the shit. That's why. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I played I... while we was waiting for you to come back from the hack from the hackers and said, uh, I played the fourth message for him, let him know, right. and I was just kind of getting diving into the fact that don't nothing happen out here without the government, man. Not the news. Uh, not, not my computer anything. freezing not, on me. Not the computer freezing. You know yep. what I'm saying? The I weather. was just talking about that Max headroom too. Right, they played me like Max Headroom, man. They, uh, right, <laughs> you were like, rah, 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 rah. Oh. oh man, yo, yo. that shit got scary. Yo, yo, I made sure my door was locked. <laughs> <The> whole... <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 right, you gotta make bro. sure, man. You gotta make sure you don't want you don't need those you don't need those the the, the bag folks coming. Get yo, you, the, the black hood. Yo, Joker's joke. Yo, Joker's <laughs> joke. <laughs> yo, be careful. But still. Yeah, be careful on the way to work tomorrow, man. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Come on, come on, brother, man. Come if on. You see, if, Yo. you see, if you see any vans, just dip into the Walgreens. Nah, Walgreens don't open up like that. Like, like they they have that uh, happy hour for the old folks. <laughs> Damn. I'm, I'm asked out, Pete. Yo, so, um, yeah, I'm going to text you when, I, when I'm on my way to work. So. Word, word. <laughs> Do that, man. I'm, I'm, I got you. I got you. Uh, cause, uh, cause if anything, like, uh, like, what can my lady do? Like, <laughs> uh, other than stress me, like, Kwame, where you going? What are they wearing? Like, that's not the way she sounds. But in my head, in the moment, it's gonna sound like that. Yeah, it's like, much. yo, just shut the fuck up and listen to what I'm telling you. Like, you're asking way too many questions. <laughs> this is what you need to do. It's yeah. Instruction one. <laughs> yeah. Go to the safe. Wait, hold on, hold on. L let me find the remote to soften it. Unplug the fucking TV. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, it's at that point. It's at that point. I'm a, I don't like your tone. Oh. <laughs> I'm so you just you just hang up on her and call somebody else. Don't you? Like you can't. Like you can't. You can't never call your lady because she's gonna ask too many questions. She's gonna she's gonna panic. She's gonna worry. Especially that if she one that one phone call. I'm calling my father. <laughs> like, <if it's> not, <laughs> my father's like, yo, he's on it. Like, no matter right? what. He, like, you don't even got to no say too much. Yo, pop, I'm in trouble. Oh, uh, word, where you at? You know where I'm at. I'm by the thing that we used to go, blah, blah, blah. Boom, I'm there. And you just hang up the phone and he's on it. Even if he can't be there, he knows somebody and he's he, boom, right? boom, boom, boom. He's hitting the yo. phone. He's hitting the jack, like, yo, you got to go over here right now. And, and figure oh, it out. Oh, 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 old school, old school, uh, telegram shit. <laughs> like yo, hitting them with the they can't trace this shit. Yo, they can't trace this shit. Nobody's on this shit. <laughs> yo, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of loud talking going on outside my window. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you might want to put the weed down just, just to ease your mind. Oh, matter of fact, light that shit up. Just to ease your mind a little bit. Yeah, because if I got bagged up, at least I want to be high. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> at least I, I, I want to, you know, be in that state of mind. Either way. Um, Either, but, yeah. Yo, so uh, <laughs> Professor Da Vinci Young on the Bears website, he found some uh, some mm -hmm. symbols. There's three, they deciphered three symbols 
Um, and uh, they apparently are like, a, like they're like three phrases. So uh, this red one here is, is, it means the paradox of the past. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the, the blue one is the, the pulse of the present. And then uh, this is like weird gold one, like orangey gold, that's the fate of the future. So like I said, man, I'm, I'm kind of like, yo, fuck is happening. Yo, I'm actually becoming a true believer because if anything, like when you started reading it, um, because I just rebooted my computer to get it back on, you know, like how certain things come up, like certain notifications. So oh, like right. this blue, like this blue screen came up out of the blue, like, cause we're like 10 minutes into it. Right. So this blue screen comes up telling me about my software and how I have to renew it. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm actually becoming a true believer. <laughs> And I'm mad yeah. this is the turn that I got to make. <laughs> yeah, you might have to, uh, you might have to, like, get new internet, dog. Yeah, I I'm glad I didn't, I don't know if I'm glad, I don't know if it's a gift and a curse, but I didn't watch that se that final season of uh, Mr. Robot. So <laughs> I don't really know what happened. Another fantastic show, by the way. Oh, I know. It got slow. But, it, got, it got slow in the, in the second season, but, you know. Oh, yeah. I, I enjoyed Mr. Robot. Yeah, I don't like these people talking extra loud in my yard. Like, who the fuck is in my yard? Like, come on. I know. Like, I know. And I just started rewatching Alias. Remember Alias, the CIA shit? Oh, with, yeah. With, with, with fine ass Jennifer oh, Garner. Yeah, that was your shit back in the day, too. Hell yeah, it was. I, 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 I remember that, too. I was like, yo, this is Daryl's shit. I'm like, I, I couldn't really like, get into it. My lady's like, I was what are you watching? Like, yeah, because I was more into like Mystery Science Theater 3000 and um, uh, MXC. Um, like where that shit during that time. Word. So I wasn't really onto the alias time. Hey, I'm gonna play the. Uh, I'm gonna play this fifth crystal that they found. Um, okay. Professor Katie Hunter found the <laughs> found a crystal. My liege, the high guard have wrecked what seems to be a cross between a city and a stronghold. Okay, we're going to need more intel than what you can gather from space. Land on the planet as inconspicuously as possible, then use your crater to spy in that city for you. Then report back what you learn. So these motherfuckers is here, dog. I hope they're not in my motherfucking backyard. <laughs> like tampering on my internet and shit. Like you just you just heard him say that he wants them to come to Earth and land and be on some other shit, man. So right now. They out here looking at us, spying on us, trying to figure it out, trying to see if this corona shit is turning turning folks into super soldiers. Yeah, I might have to get up with one of these uh, motorcycle gang gang dudes out here, man. Like for real, for real. Because if I need an easy escape, I might need a dirt bike. <laughs> you might need a dirt bike. I, I don't. I don't have a driver's license, so you have to get your not really have to get your excite bike on. Yeah, and if anything, hell yeah, because in a car, like you, you got certain rules that you gotta abide by on a bike <laughs> fuck it <laughs> i'm going over this little footbridge <laughs> like <laughs> i'm on the sidewalk like hey <laughs> but i mean shit, that's three 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 pieces of like key information mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's that's really making this shit seem more more realer that's what i, I said my, i said what i said more realer and my computer uh <laughs> Glitching on me like that, like out of the blue, like no, telling you, shit is getting real out here, people. You know what I'm saying? Go to the go to the Bears Awakening Facebook page. That's B mm -hmm. period A E period A period R period S the Awakening. Uh, you remember what it all stands for? Hell, fucking no. That's your job. Biometric, yeah, biometrical, yeah. X assault, Requan squad, something like that. I'm a, I'm gonna take your word. Sounds for good. It. I'm I'm going with that. I'm gonna take your word I, for it. Cause if anything, I need to call them motherfuckers to take it. I'm a, motherfuckers in my yard. I'm gonna call them <laughs> right, right. I'm a, I'm I'm trying to maybe get recruited to be one of these super soldiers. Like how that shit work. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I already yeah, said fuck, I'm, I've been working fuck out. Fuck me, scared. I'm from Brooklyn, B. Right, like right? fuck that. I'm gonna take it to your neck rather than you, you already, take it to my chest. You already see. You already see the D's always in the building. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't let the smooth taste fool you. Yo, we got Fab and Jada right now going on on Versus, man. Who you got tonight? You got Fab, you got Jada. Uh, the Simile King. Damn, or... damn, damn <laughs> you put me on the spot. 
you put me on the spot after I'm saying I'm from Brooklyn and I'm picking Jada from Yonkers. Like, come on, man. Like, come on. Like, you put me on the spot. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was a, oh. That, oh, that was a that was a mean volleyball setup. Yeah, I think it, I think that was like, a mean like, the parent setup volleyball. Shit, like, like all of these versus battles, man. It really just depends on like what songs they choose. You know what I'm saying? Like if they just yeah. use if they just using solo joints, you know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna be tough because Fab got some bangers, and Jada like some commercial bangers. But Jada got them street bangers that if you ain't if you ain't played through the whole album, you ain't never gonna hear. Like a lot mm-hmm. of people, they're only they're only like. Uh, they're only the only shit that they ever heard from Jada is the shit that he do on R and B records as features or the shit uh, from or yeah, the like shit from Mariah the Carey and shit like that. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yo, like my brother loves Jada. He's like, yo, no word of a lie. Jada never spit a whack verse. I like, say that shit. I say that shit all the time. The I say that shit all the time. <laughs> you know, but the verse was always That's, tight. I say that shit all the time. Yo, Jada ain't never you ain't never listened to a Jada verse or even a Jada song and been like Yo, I didn't like. I don't like. I've that. heard some songs. I've heard some songs. Yeah, but but ah, maybe it's the hook that kills it, but it's not the verses. Living over experience is my favorite lock song, hands down. Living over experience, that's my shit. Like Jada, like, Jada, Jada to me ain't never spit no whack bars. You know what I'm saying? Where you where you listen to it and you're like, I don't know about this one. You know what hey, I'm saying? Uh, oh, but um, yeah, Fab got a lot of. He got a ton of that shit with uh, what's her name, Little Mo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, he, he got, a, he got, a, he got a ton of wax. Like, that's but, how um, I judge my my rappers. But but, like, but, but but he grew, but he grew and got better. So I nah, can't Fab got better. Yo, wax shit. And, I, I gotta judge him on his good shit. The toughest and part that's about what they it is like the, so, the toughest part about this battle for me too is like, I like both these dudes, but also, they just did an album together. And yo, I put the, my nephew onto it like months ago. Some of the hardest shit. Each of them Yo, ever spit is on that, that album, dog. That that intro is my favorite. Yo. Yo, that's that yo, that's all my go, get ready for work play. Yo, that intro is that's so the shit dope. that I'm actually listening to on the bus yeah. while I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm like, that, yo, that fuck that. I'm gonna the, take it to your neck because I'm from Brooklyn. Like, I played that shit back to back to back to back. That one and um the uh the party th- uh with Swiss Beats. Yeah, and the Marvin Gaye, that, the Marvin them Gaye two shit. songs. Yeah, them, them two songs are my first two songs, and then from there, uh, I'm not gonna get into my whole playlist because that's that's my personal shit. But um, when it comes to battles, though, like um, everybody's like, oh, who who would Drake go up against? I was like, yo, Rick Ross, hands down. Like Rick Ross versus Drake, that would be a nice battle for me. Yes, but man. I'm still He'll smash on, Ross though. Ross got some hits, man. Ross got some sneaky hits. But here's my nah, thing with he Ross. Got some, he got some boss tunes. He got, he, got some, he got some big hits, but he also got some sneaky hits. But I'm rolling with Ross on that one. I like, don't know, man. Drake got Drake, Drake's tunes, catalog man. is just too is just too powerful. Plus, after Rick Ross said Reebok, just do it on uh on that track with Jay Z on the uh, on the Jay Z album. I can't remember the name of it now. Oh, not uh, the blueprint. Nah. Uh, oh, on the S. Doc Carter, the when, when he had his own shoes. Nah, the Rick nah, Ross wasn't nah, even nah, out nah, during nah, that time. Nah, nah, nah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna pull it up for you. Uh, uh no, nah, but if anything, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say though that, that I'm gonna still lobby for that Prince versus Michael Jackson, where um Quest Level spin Prince, and D Nice would spin Michael Jackson. That like that is the battle that. I want to see as like the summer slam that like if I'm a wrestling promoter, that's the one that I'm pushing for, right? Because that's that's like the main event. That's like uh, Undertaker versus uh, Bret Hart for me. Like that. That's like the ultimate match, you know? Because like U- Ultimate Warrior versus Macho Man, maybe that that's more like Jada Kiss versus thing. Fabulous. Oh, okay. You made a ref- a wrestling reference. I was like, what the fuck? It's on. It's on. No, no, no. Like, like you remember uh, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam, and shit like that, where they used to have the big event during the summertime. Oh, yeah. So it's like, who, who's the main event? Like for me, the, the main event for like a WrestleMania style versus is you know D Nice spinning Michael Jackson and Questlove spinning Prince. But then you have like the undercards with like uh, Macho Man versus uh, Macho Man versus uh, Ultimate Warrior. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, it. I can dig it. But Yo, like the ultimate th- match was like Bret Hart versus the Undertaker for me. 
Right. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I love both of them. And it's like, but Bret Hart is my guy. Oh, man. That's my guy. The figure four leg lock, the second most yeah, devastated, oh. second most devastated move in all of wrestling behind the DDT. No, nah, wait. He, he used to do them all. The figure four was more um, Nature Boy, Rick oh, Flair. The, the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. The sharpshooter. It was like mm -hmm. a reverse, reverse figure four. Uh, the song I was talking about is called uh, that, that Fuck With Me, You Know I Got It with Rick uh, Ross. No, nah, I'm still fucking with Rick Ross. I don't oh. know, man. That verse, that was oh. like, to me, that was like when I lost when I lost all fandom for uh, for Leonardo DiCaprio when he did Titanic for a little while. That's when I, I was like, "Damn, Ross, you don't, you don't fucking fell off the cliff with this." Oh uh, no, you're talking about the Great Gatsby. No, no, no. When 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 Leonardo DiCaprio because he had just done like Basketball Diaries and he did Gilbert Grape and some other shit. And then oh, he yeah. Did, oh yeah, I, and I then love he that did. Fast. Then he did Titanic, and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck is this shit, yo?" And then I lost, like I didn't, I didn't fuck with him for a minute. And then he came out with, uh, with uh, Gangs of New York, which I watched later on. But that shit was beautiful. And then the Revenant. And then I don't know what was happening with the Great Cast. Nah, uh, before uh, Revenant, he had that. Um... Oh, he had a bunch of movies before that. But I'm just talking about the the, the highlights for me. Oh, for um, you, for you. Okay. Uh, okay. The Wolf of Wall Street. Those are all great, great. Films. Wasn't he in that one with um? Damn, what's that other like cop one where he was like an undercover cop and shit like that? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Inception, I don't... Inception was dope too. But oh, uh, I love that. Inception is my favorite. Rich shit. That yo, that's the kind. Yo, of that cast is like. crazy. That cast is crazy. Tom Hardy is in that shit. Uh, who's probably one of the oh, best the actors story in itself. In the story and everything. But uh, yo, we're, we're, we're that's like that Matrix and uh, Terminator shit that we was talking about. For sure, yo. But we're up against it on this Bears podcast right now. Uh, yeah, Make I gotta sure. stick my head out this window and see, tend to this business, man. Cause yeah, for sure. I, I don't like this. Keep turning my neck, shit. Like, nah, make fuck sure, that. Make sure you subscribe to the Saturday Conversation YouTube channel for all mm -hmm. things Bears podcast related, all things Saturday Conversation, all things Porch, all things DJ Iron Monkey, all things DJ Caveman. Hit that subscribe. Hit the like. Hit the bell. Make sure you go on over to the Facebook page, the Bears Awakening. Uh, make sure you yes. go to our Facebook page, the Saturday Conversation, uh, DJ Caveman. DJ Iron Monkey. Hit us up on all the socials. Check us out on yes. all the uh, places where you can get a podcast. We'll check y'all next time. We out. <laughs>